Good afternoon and welcome to our midweek devotional here. I'm Pastor Mike, First Baptist Church, Harbor Oaks. Glad you have joined us today. Thank you for being here. I want to let you know, if you've got a prayer request, let us know. Uh, email us at harboroaksprayerline at gmail.com. Harboroaksprayerline at gmail.com. Uh, let us know how we can pray for you. Well, today's devotional is on this. Can we all just get along? You know, this quote comes from a guy named Rodney King during the Los Angeles riots in 1992. The verdict in that trial, the four police officers came back with an acquittal, and the city literally became a firestorm uh, of controversy. After it was all said and done, there were 50 folks that had lost their lives, and there was a lot of destruction of personal property. So why do I bring this up after 29 years? Because it seems like nothing's really changed. Our nation has learned nothing after 29 years, and the divisive talk and actions of folks have created a, a spirit of division and disunity in the, what we call the good old U.S. of A. All one has to do is turn on the news for a short amount of time, and there it is. Division in the social media, division in the streets, division among races and ethnicities, division among economic people groups, division among our nation's leadership, and yes, even division in the body of Christ, the church. Friends, division is an ugly word, an even uglier picture. There are a number of reasons why people are divided. And I'm sure many of you have already taken sides amongst the various current issues in our land. For the record, though, it's important to take a stand on principles. It's to stand up for injustice is to take a stand for those the weakest in our society. Scripture is very clear that folks like orphans and widows are to be protected, and they certainly need someone to stand in the gap for them uh, when their time comes. The oldest members of society, they also need folks to take a stand to protect their best interest. The unborn definitely need folks to take a stand for them, since they may never get a chance to speak up and stand, for them, stand up for themselves. We also need to take a stand for those who have been discriminated against in our society. You know, there's nothing honorable about any form of discrimination or racism. It's just flat wrong. The Bible clearly says so. However, in taking our stands and taking our sides, it's important for us to remember that we as believers in Jesus Christ must take those stands in the spirit of love. Ephesians 4.3 tells us that we're to make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace make every effort that tells us that we as christians have a duty to show respect and love even in our disagreements and as humans we will always disagree about something and it's bound to happen however we should be able to disagree in a peaceful and responsible way there's no room in the body of christ for divisive talk and put downs we're to build one another up and not tear one another down. Our speech and our actions should reflect that we are making every effort, as Paul says, to keep the bond of peace through the person of the Holy Spirit. That means it will take a work to do it sometimes. It'll be an effort. So do we often disagree about things, issues, or people? Yeah, we do. It happens all the time. We will always do that. However, let me encourage you to make your points of disagreement through the filter of peace and love. We can disagree without being disagreeable. There's no room for ugly talk, personal attacks, when people simply don't see things our way. As believers, we strive and we should strive to stand on our principles but we need to do it God's way it's obvious that man's way doesn't work very well does it so can we all just get along as Rodney King said so many years ago maybe maybe not can we be peaceable even when we can't get along absolutely you know the body of Christ uh, the Christ that came to give us peace in our hearts knew a little bit about divisive people pharisees sadducees 
the scribes, the priests, they often give him grief. He dealt with them frequently in his ministry, and they were often what you might call a thorn in his side as he served man as he came to provide and be that sacrifice for us. However, talking about that sacrifice, he did also die for those divisive people. Yes, he did. Why? Because he loves them too. Christ loves you and Christ loves me, but he even loves the divisive people because he came and he died for them too. So what does that tell us? We need to love our dividers as well. Because after all, aren't we called to be like Christ if we're followers of Christ? I want to thank you for joining us today for this devotional thought. Uh, let us know uh, if there's any way we can uh, help you, anything we can do for you. Again, email us your prayer request to us at harboroaksprayerline at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. Thank, thank you for joining us today and have a blessed day.